in the first chapter patanjali is giving us the vision of the yoga shastra what is the vision of yoga shastra samadhi is the vision of yoga shastra what do we mean by samadhi samadhi means freedom that is samadhi where there is attachment uh uh-huh, there is no samadhi if i am attached to you there is always irritation <laughs> if i am totally free there is always freedom and in that freedom you know something beautiful takes place you know what that harmony harmony are you are seeing it are you seeing the beauty of it so yoga samadhi yoga means samadhi samadhi means freedom in that freedom there is harmony harmony where there is no freedom there is no harmony if i am attached to you there is no harmony there is subjugation there is obligation there is compulsion there are so many factors if i am totally free i can give you complete harmony are you seeing the beauty of it huh? so yoga shastra means the science of freedom and in that space of freedom the life flowers and that is harmony so let us begin with yoga samadhi so the purpose of this journey is samadhi freedom i have to have a freedom because this consciousness has to flower in harmony where there is harmony there is nourishment for example in your house if there is harmony what a beautiful nourishment you see you need not go for high calorie food you need not go for vitamin tablets and you know mineral all the you, you don't need anything let me tell you because we don't have that so we are directly helping the pharmaceutical company to grow in a beautiful way give bring harmony in your house let me see whether you need any medicine there except chota mota you don't need so where there is harmony there is nourishment nourishment not according to your specification <laughs> not according to your specification then how to begin this samadhi atha <laughs> atha means now can you throw your baggage you have collected over the years and janmas can you unburden yourself to experience this harmony if you don't know how to unburden yourself you cannot allow your system to get nourished it becomes a torture instead of nurture you are torturing continuously you are torturing then japa becomes torture meditation becomes torture food becomes torture you become torture all become everything becomes torture 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 only 
सो द योग बिगिन्स विथ अथ नव नव मीन्स फ्रीडम फ्रॉम द पास्ट फ्रीडम फ्रॉम द नोन दट इज नव फ्रीडम फ्रॉम दि नोन ईज नव सो वी हैव टू वन ईज नोन एंड अनदर वन ईज अनोन either we are stuck with known or we are scared of unknown always so this situation psychologically called anxiety this is anxiety because i am stuck with known i don't know how to come out of this known and i am scared of unknown because i don't have any access to unknown and this is anxiety in sanskrit it is called udvega ut means heightened accelerated vega means the speed accelerated the speed of the mind is udvega that is anxiety that is anxiety so yoga begins here atha is it possible for me to free myself from the known is it possible for me to reduce the anxiety on or over unknown this is the challenge and if you look at it if you look at it known is giving you strength <laughs> is it known gives you a sort of comfortable security known and we want that ground hmm? unknown is to create an ego in me that i am struggling to do something this is how the human energy is being consumed dissipated please see this hmm? please see this hmm? now is it possible for me to to some extent clear the known and drop unnecessary unknown for some time 90% of unknown your mind is nurturing or your assumed fears only what will happen to my child say what is to happen is going to happen right <laughs> now tell me in what way you can do anything what power you have to do anything you don't have you don't have any power let me tell you buddhi hi karma anusarini every jeeva works depending upon its karma its motivation its energy field ha ah, you may block you may fight you may do all those things so in the process in the process of that confrontation you are not seeing the ground reality you don't see the ground reality so here patanjali says atha atha means drop the past and drop the future for a while for a while hmm? atha then what is to be done hold on to yoga what is yoga harmony drop this and hold on to yoga that is harmony then what is to be done with this harmony anushasana you follow <laughs> atha yoga anushasana that's all so simple you don't want to drop you don't want to follow that is our state of affairs is it not 
I don't want to drop this. I don't want to follow that. Hmm? I want to get liberated. How is it possible? How is it possible? Tell me. You have the guts to drop this. You have the insight to follow this. To follow this, you have to sacrifice something. Without sacrifice, nothing is going to come to us. Tyage naike hi amrutatva manashuku. Only through sacrifice. 